Well, hello again everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel as we take a look at another classic dirt bike as we have a browse at Dookie Harrow's lovely JBR 500 Honda Twin Shocker. Now this machine is not an old Twin Shock race bike that's been dismantled and then rebuilt. This is a brand new Twin Shock race bike built with brand new parts including everything from the frame and motor right down to every other nut and bolt and screw that hold it together. Now whether you want to call it a restoration mod or even a twin shock recreation although it is still essentially a brand new twin shock race bike. Now anyhow, this uh, fantastic looking twin shock race bike has just been recently purchased by Scottish rider uh, Doogie Harrow. And uh, Doogie has only just taken delivery of this machine from the Rod Spry workshop, who actually built the bike from scratch. Now of course you don't need me to tell you that uh, Rod Spry is no stranger to building these superb looking machines and uh, Rod has been commissioned to build just a limited amount of these Honda based twin shot racers and uh, Doogie's particular example here is number 15 of the Rod Spry production line. Now Doogie told me that between the initial ordering of the bike to taking delivery of the finished machine was uh, only about 20 months. Now Rod Spry of course is well known in the classic dirt bike community for building not just these JBR Honda bikes but uh, many other makes of classic dirt bikes and uh, Rod's workmanship as you can see is uh, without equal in the world of classic dirt bike construction. Now these high quality JBR Honda frames are built by Mark Janik of Mojo Motorbikes in Malvern, Worcestershire, right here in the UK. Now Mark actually worked for MRD Matisse for many years and after he had constructed more than 400 frames for that company he started up Mojo Motorbikes in 2007 building these and many other bespoke frames for all manner and makes and models of motorcycles. Now of course when you see the quality of the welding and construction on these 4130 chrome Molly Mark Janik chassis you can immediately see that these JBR frames are of the very highest quality and when they are finally chrome plated as you see here they truly are a work of art. Now these nicely engineered engine mounting plates were once again made in the Rod Spry workshop as uh, this is just part and parcel of what Rod does on a day to day basis while putting these fantastic bikes together. Now the particulars of the Honda motor is that it is basically a Honda XR based 500 uh, engine that has been bored out to 540cc. Now a single cylinder of course with a twin exhaust port cylinder head with an exhaust pipe and tailpipe that uh, runs down either side of the frame. Now in this particular motor's case the engine has had the balancer shafts removed as this allows the engine to be much more responsive and naturally reduces the overall weight of the motor. Now the engine also uses the XR cam on the top end. Now also on this engine it has a wet multi-plate clutch which has been fitted 
with a set of heavy duty springs. But of course these big XR based Honda motors are well proven engines and can be very reliable if you look after them and they are also very powerful for a big four stroke single cylinder power plant. Now as you can see here Rod Spry has stamped his very own mark on this particular 500 motor by adding this lovely RSE logo on the alloy uh, rocker cover. Now one of the other improvements in this 500 motor is that the flywheel has also been lightened to improve the engine response and once again uh, reduce the weight. But make no mistake, these 500 engines are not just old motors that have been given a fresh lick of paint to make them look good. These engines are brand new and constructed from original Honda castings, so you can always be sure you will get a completely brand new machine when you order one of these bikes. Now also, because this is a quite a high compression engine, uh, a decompressor is also fitted to the cylinder head here to aid you kicking over that uh, big massive 500cc lump. Now in the front suspension department the forks fitted to this uh, GBR are of course a set of uh, very good quality Marzocchis which have uh, magnesium sliders now the front and the rear brake hubs are taken from a YZ Yamaha and these of course are laced to the hub by a set of uh, these heavy duty stainless steel spokes. And as mentioned previously the rear hub also is taken from a YZ Yamaha which uh, of course has this magnesium uh, backplate uh, fitted. Now of course as this is a brand new uh, machine, again a new pair of uh, these high quality alloy rims were fitted to Dougie's uh, GBR and these were then complemented with a pair of uh, Michelin Starcross 5 uh, medium uh, motocross tyres. Of course these Michelin tyres are well proven in the world of uh, off-road racing and uh, this will certainly get the GBR hooked up when it takes to the track. Now when it comes to these uh, superbly handcrafted alloy fuel tanks, these are made from 2mm aluminium and uh, fabricated by the very talented hands of Chris Ambler of Chris Ambler Fabrications in Carlisle. Now Chris makes these JBR fuel tanks and many other makes and models of fuel tanks for other classic motorcycles and there's basically nothing that Chris cannot do or make when it comes to alloy and vintage motorcycles. Now of course once these finished tanks are then painted in your favourite colour and the appropriate graphics pasted on the side and in this case the JBR logo then you have to admit these are uh, very high quality items indeed. Now naturally with all these brand new bike builds the seat again is all new with a brand new seat base foam and of course this lovely JBR quality seat cover. Now just a point of interest here is that the seat base is from Scotland, the foam is from Birmingham and the cover was actually supplied from Newcastle. So a very good mix of suppliers from all over the UK for this particular item. Now when it comes to the rear suspension uh, on any motocross bike you should always fit the best you can afford and in this case Rod Spry has opted to fit a pair of these very high quality Olin's piggyback shocks 
which have uh, been built to suit Doogie's particular weight and uh, the type of machine that he will be riding. Now these are certainly not the cheapest rear shocks on the market but uh, take it from me these are about the best quality rear shocks that you can get. Now of course the motor is a single cylinder engine but has a twin exhaust port cylinder head which of course feeds these two exhaust pipes which run down either side of the chassis leading to a pair of these uh, very nice stainless steel tailpipes which are tucked up very nicely under the rear of the JBR seat. Now once again all manner and makes of carburetor can be fitted to these JBR motors although generally speaking these 36mm Makunis do a fine job of feeding that big 500 motor with the fuel it requires. Now when Rod was putting this bike together he's once again opted to go with a pair of these high quality wide foot pegs on Doogie's machine. Now these of course are excellent quality and are wide enough to make riding the machine much more comfortable and will be able to stand up to any punishment the bike will encounter on the track. Now of course many of these smaller items including the lovely high quality rental bars and these Magura levers and uh, this very high quality gas are, are all brand new uh, items. Of course you need a very good quality uh, throttle gasser to control the power that's going to be coming from that uh, 500 Honda motor. Now although we've not had a close up shot of it, the uh, airbox is uh, naturally a plastic airbox which is moulded to the contours of the JBR frame with a foam air filter inside that of course uh, can be removed and cleaned for uh, maintenance purposes. Now Doogie the bike's owner told me that all the plastics were supplied by Chris Tilly and I must admit they certainly look the part uh, fitted in place on Doogie's lovely uh, Honda. Now of course this lovely JBR Honda is just one of the many quality machines that pass through the Rod Spry workshop on a daily basis and uh, hopefully very soon we will be taking a visit to the Rod Spry workshop during the winter period where we will all be able to see at a glance how Rod puts these immaculate machines together. Now as yet Doogie has not had a chance to race his new bike on the track as he currently races his Curtis Honda as his first choice race bike. Now these particular pictures and video clips were taken just shortly after Doogie had taken delivery of the new bike. But of course we will be looking forward to seeing this machine in action on the track in future videos here on my YouTube channel. So there you have it, another superb machine built by Rod Spry for Doogie Harrow. But please stay tuned or even subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of these classic and twin shock racing motorcycles. And thanks once more for watching. This video was brought to you in association with World Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more details.